G'day mates, it's Donny from Donny's Tech Garage and Adventures. Today I'm putting some roof racks on the Discovery. Just thought I'd make a quick video because it confused me a little bit and now that I've found out why it confused me, I thought I'd share it with everyone. So what we're actually putting on is the factory style roof racks, not a rhino rack or anything like that. It's just the factory Discovery racks and we've already got the roof rails on the car. Um, so I'm just gonna show you some of the things to pay attention to when you do this. Righto, one of the strange things that you'll find is this little tool here. If you actually look at it, it's actually got a um, nine Newton meter mark on it. So there we go, just getting it out of the shade. So what this is for is actually when you're tightening these, these ones have already been done, so don't really need to worry too much about it. But what you should be able to do is see on the top, we're out of line. When we're actually in line, or maybe these do need, do need a bit of a tighten. What will happen, a bit hard to see, but basically you should actually be able to get to the point where the top black plastic will line up with the nine millimeter, nine newton meter mark. That shows that you actually tightened it appropriately. So just check that because it does actually have in the um, factory instructions that you should be tightening those. I think it's every thousand kilometers just to check if they haven't moved or not. So that's the number one thing. All right, the number two thing. This one is something that someone mentioned on the Discovery Five Owners group. I'm not sure if you can see it over there. If not, we'll zoom in on this side or you can kind of see it there's actually a hole on both sides of the roof rails one's for the back and one's for the front so if you actually look in here what we actually got in the roof rail is a pin oh there we go a pin that actually sits in that hole so once it's lined up appropriately you should actually feel it click in The next step is to actually get your Allen key, tighten this up, which it should be down like that. <laughs> Bit hard when you get one hand, but basically you should be tightening this up. You should apparently hear it click. There you go, that's it. Do the same on the other side, and then you put your, don't have the key on me at the moment, but you get the idea, put the key out and then put that down. So do the same on both sides. Now, one thing I forgot to show everyone is before you actually do that, on the back of your roof rail, or roof rack, roof bar, whatever you wanna call them, is done it the wrong way around, but anyway, you'll notice that there's actually a mark that says whether it's the front of the car or the other one will have an arrow going towards the back. Make sure you use the right one because as far as I can tell, they're actually a slightly different size. So if you're having trouble fitting them, this is likely why, is you've actually got them the wrong way around. So yeah, that's, um, that's all I wanted to make a video about is just make sure that if you're using the factory roof rails, there is actually a locating point for where they're meant to sit. It's that little hole that's inside the rack. Make sure that lines up. Make sure you've talked everything up properly. Um, yeah, so that's it. Just remember as well, guys, you can actually get the, um, the instructions on the Land Rover Accessories website. that will actually explain to you how this is all meant to work. So if you haven't any trouble, I'll see if I can find the link and I'll chuck it in the video description below so everyone can have a look at it. But hopefully this helps someone out. Cheers, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, get notified and see all the great videos. I like, I say great, but you know, funny, exciting, entertaining videos that we make. Cheers. Thought I'd better show it full fitted. There's the front one, there's the back one. Now the other thing to be aware of is, see on the other side, we've actually cut out a section. Um, normally we have a awning that's on the side. So if you have done that, make sure you obviously put that the way that you would like it to go to make sure that you're going to um, be able to put your awning on. So I always put it on the passenger side. The reason for that is if we're, um, you know, if you ever get caught on the side of the road or anything, obviously in Australia, we drive on the left, so it means that your awning goes out to the left. That's the reasoning behind doing it like that. Other people got other ideas about it, but that's what I think. Anyway, that's it. Cheers.